video is sponsored by me, Shelby Frick, with Fairy Tale Concierge. We are working hard for you to save you time, headaches, and money. I can create a package for any Disney vacation that you would like to plan. Family trips, adult-only trips, business outings. If you have young children, if you have older children, you name it, I can plan it and make it magical for you. I am a Disney expert. I know all about the resorts, the dining plans, the My Disney Experience, dining reservations, fast passes, the parks, characters, the cruise ships, the staterooms, and itineraries, and so much more. My service is free of charge when you book with me. What does this mean? Well, my services include dining reservations, fast pass reservations, itineraries. I personalize itineraries for your vacation to save you time that you are not wasting in line. That way you can enjoy the parks and your vacation. I will continuously monitor, monitor for discounts. I have advice. I can do recommendations. I am here to answer all of your questions, and I will wait on hold for you with Disney. If you've ever done it, you know it can be a daunting process. I am here to do it for you. I am committed to providing you a magical vacation that will help you create a memory that will last a lifetime. Hi, everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing well. My name is Shelby. If this is the first time you're watching, I really, truly appreciate it. If you could please subscribe. That would be a great. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers, but you know, I will take, I, I love all my subscribers. I love when I get like an email from somebody that's like, Hey, I watched your video and I'm like, Oh my, Oh my God. Oh really? Thank you. Like, <laughs> and I tell my husband, he's like, uh huh. But I'm <laughs> very excited by the fact that, you know, people are actually tuning in and watching and I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you don't know, which you probably do because you <laughs> watch, I am really wound up today. There's an ad before this. Um, I am a travel agent. I specialize in Disney, Disney Cruises, Disney World, uh, Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, actually, also. And other travel as well. Sandals, beaches, you know, travel abroad, travel in the United States. I specialize in it all. For Disney, Disney World is my home. I'm going to say it is my, I know like the back of my hand. I know every nook and cranny in and out. And, you know, I just try to help people have a magical vacation and not spend, like people always say, oh, Disney World lines. Meh. I try to help clients not spend too much time in line. So I go as often as I can. This year is an exception, unfortunately. And, you know, try and I come up with itineraries for clients so they don't spend a lot of time in line and then they can have a really magical vacation. So Festival of the Arts. So if you don't know, Epcot has many festivals. They have a Festival of the Arts, which is, I'm going to say, early winter. Then we go into the International Flower and Garden Festival, which is spring. I want to say early summer. Depends on when summer is for you. We get out of school here like June 25th. So my summer starts, I always say like June 1st is summer. So, and sometimes flower and garden goes a little late. Uh, nothing over the summer. Then they will do the food and wine festival, which is always a big hit. And I always, always recommend, especially, I mean, you can go with kids. We all, we do. I can't leave my children at home. They would probably be, it'd be mutiny if I left them at home. Um, but if it's an adult-only trip, food and wine is the way to go. It's fantastic. Um, for more, I would say more, not more family-friendly, because once again, kids can go to food and wine. It's no big deal. I like Flower and Garden as well. I actually find Flower and Garden to be a little bit more relaxed, probably because food and wine, the hours in the parks change because you have, usually you have um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So Magic Kingdom hours change and then people bump over to Epcot in the evening because the hours are shorter at the Magic Kingdom if they're not going to the Halloween party. So usually for Flower and Garden, the hours for all the parks are later. So I find it to be a little bit more relaxed. But 
and then festival of the holidays for you know usually thanksgiving and christmas and the holidays hanukkah ramadan the holidays so i'm going to talk about the festival of the arts and i'm looking at my phone because i have my notes so the festival of the arts they did not release a lot of information so this is like a preview for it it's going to be from january 8th to february 22nd of 2021 and they are going to have food booths they are going to have lots and lots of performing arts they are actually going to have voices of liberty take the stage in the american pavilion which is down by the lagoon and they're going to be performing there which are voices of liberty are fantastic and makes me wish I had one ounce of singing ability in my life because they are just amazing. And if I say, woo, hello now. Ah, I wish you stay. If I sounded, if I could sing like that, I would be singing nonstop and people would be telling me to shut up. Um, they're going to be having visual arts as well, which are galleries. They're going to have for their art galleries. They're gonna be spotlighting artists who have distinctive styles and a wide variety of creative medium, mediums like photography and jewelry making and paper sculpting. That's so cool. And painting and sh uh, shirt screen printing and all tons more. Plus, the guests can be involved in the creative process as well. So. They can purchase the art and you can usually like, take part in some things too. Um, the artists have not been announced yet. Like I said, they haven't really given much detail and it's almost a month away. Oh, less than a month when I do this. I'm sorry. I'm recording early. Um, so yeah. So, the, okay. So they are definitely having food and of course, which is fantastic. And what they do is they kind of incorporate, they call them food studios. So they incorporate art with food. So it's a, they're different than the normal like food and wine and flower and garden food booths and festival holidays food booths because festival holiday food booths cookies and comfort. And, um, so they kind of, they're, di they're just a little, not, they're just different and abstract and amazing and incredible. And I all, like Festival of the Arts is one of the best times to visit Epcot as well um, because it's usually lower crowds in the early winter and people have never, I've never heard a bad word about it, put it that way. So like I said, it's just an update just to give you the dates and they keep saying they're going to update and as soon as they update, I'm going to do a little bit more in depth video about it. But in case you are interested in it, please let me know and I will help you plan your magical trip. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.